Hey everybody, this is Luke back again. We're going to do um, some setup right now and so I can show you guys how to actually set this up in Pro Tools 9. It is a little bit different than how we used to have to configure uh, the Artist Series to work via Huey in Pro Tools 7 and Pro Tools 8. So, got my water bottle, got my antacid medication. I think we're ready to go here. Let's do it. So, first thing we want to do is, is take a look at U-Control. U-Control is our driver. Just a reminder, running in the background at all times. Uh, before you want to control Pro Tools with the surfaces or anything else for that matter, you want to install this, make sure it's running properly and that the surfaces are connected to the computer. So, still the same drill here. Control and mix are there. I see my workstation here, which is Sound Pierce Computer. All good to go. So, the, the version of U Control that I'm actually running which is this is important because um, two, U Control 2.5.6 and U Control 2.5.7 are the only two builds for the Artist Series that work with Pro Tools 9 via Ucon. So you definitely need to be on one of those two. And at this point, since we've already released 2.5.7, it'd be best to go into that. And also, good time to note that we. Uh, have uh, frequent software updates, if not every month, every couple of months. So it's always good to keep an eye on uh, your U Control software and make sure it's up to date. So we're on 257, which is good. And if people remember, but our Pro Tools users using this via Huey, there were a couple of extra steps we had to do after installing U Control. First, we had to go into the System Preferences window. And in our system preferences window, we actually had to go and do our euphonics thing here under other. And when we clicked on that, we would literally find the Pro Tools application itself. Right? And we'd go into our DigiDesign folder and we literally drag and drop that application file in there. Well, luckily we don't have to do any of that anymore. So we can basically leave this Euphonics Preferences pane blank. We don't have to worry about it whatsoever. To work with Pro Tools 9, you install U-Control, make sure it's running properly. Once you do that, all you have to do is go back into Pro Tools and go into your setup menu. And so when we go into our setup menu here, we can get into peripherals. And in peripherals, once again, um, after configuring the devices to work via Huey, we would go in here and assign it as a Huey device, and then we would see Euphonics virtual MIDI ports there. Once again, not necessary anymore in Pro Tools 9. You notice that these are all set to none. So we're not using Huey. We have one nice check mark here, enable Yukon as a device, and then the surfaces are ready to go. Um, if a session is open and you can check mark this thing, give it a second, it'll say configuring Yukon and then automatically the surfaces will come to life and your track names will be there. All the tracks will already be mapped to the faders in an intelligent way and, uh, and you'll be ready to start uh, tracking or mixing. Another important thing to note here is that the Yukon support, and excuse me, Yukon configuration is not in this Ethernet port pull down. This is for DigiDesign control surfaces. This is for D command, D control, C24, stuff like that. So if you want to get Yukon going and you want to use the Artist Series or our Pro surfaces for that matter, just check them, mark this thing, and you're good to go. And we click on OK. And if we take a look at the surface here, um, what do I see? Well, we got a lot more feedback than we used to via Huey. So if we take a look at our mix scribble strip display here, I have my track names. Right? And the track names, um, obviously you want to see the track names there, but under Huey we only used to see four character displays for each track name. So if you named your track Guitar 2, it would only show up on the surfaces G-U-I-T or Git or whatever you want to call it. Um, and now we see up to a 12 character display, so that's really nice. And on the control, we got a lot more feedback too. We've got 12 character display for the track names again on our tracks page here on the touch screen. But we also have the track numbers, which didn't used to show up, and even the color coding in the Pro Tools mixer window. So if I wanted to say color code a, color code a specific track here, I can go and do that, and it'll automatically change on the surface to whatever color I pick, all right? So all of that providing to really just a better experience um, when you're working in Pro Tools. 
Cool, so as you can see, we got a lot more feedback uh, on the control surface than we used to get via Huey, so we know what's going on in this Pro Tool session right away.